Place your deli or carry out orders. Call 302 945 All right, 740. Time now for question of the day. You ever need anything discussed relationship-wise, you can always email. Jessica at power1017.com. Man, this this email is something. Hmm. This email is getting ready to be something. Oh, boy. <sighs> Almost seven months ago, I delivered my third and last child via C-section. Hmm, okay. Um, baby was born a preemie. All right. And I had to stay in the uh, NICU with me being up and down. You know, my stitches reopened, and then they had to heal on my own without being restitched. Baby is also in need of major surgery. So, again... You know, I've been up and down in the hospital with him and whatever. I say this to say this. My kid's father has been urging me to lose weight, which I myself want to do, but literally don't feel like killing myself right now. I'm putting on weight, which I myself don't like, but with other added stressors like me and my kids battling COVID twice, it definitely is not the top of my list. Since having kids... I've been on the thicker side, but always remain active. Uh, But my two younger ones, I literally don't have time or inner motivation. Recently, he started pressuring me and giving low blows like it's hard for him and me to, you know, sleep together now. And that I like, I look like I'm still pregnant. Uh Uh-uh. He's saying that he's urging me because of my health, which I think is pure bull because I've been sick next to this guy and he pays me no mind stayed in the hospital for 10 days then i was pregnant and he visited me once that one time he visited me he made sure to tell me that i was being a bad parent by staying in the hospital so long and had other kids at home dude acted as if i was on vacation honestly his pressing me is making me see that he is so superficial and also making me not want to exercise even harder. I'm not going to do it for him, but when I'm ready, I'll do it for me. Please give some advice. They're married. They're married. Mm. I don't know. You need to have a serious talk with this guy, and it could possibly be the end. I mean, I've never had anybody speak to me that way. Yeah. Uh, so I can't relate to that, but I can only imagine, you know, what it does to her mentally and you know, it's just a shame because she's going to, like, be down on herself. 365 texting in. He is a jerk. There's no other respectable way to talk to someone about their weight. Girl, leave him and go get yourself together. Melody, get rid of him and you'll lose weight real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you and will. your kids deserve better than that. Run and don't look back. Tisha, are you still really in a relationship with him? Better off being single. If there's any weight to lose, it's his weight. Yeah, I was going to say, how I, much look, does he weigh? I You're about to that. lose 200 pounds, girl. Yeah, right off your shoulders. <laughs> Get that weight off your shoulders. Yeah. Don't have to worry about him. <laughs> that is so true. Sheila says, he treats you like that and you're worried about losing weight. Your priorities are messed up. Love yourself first. Stop allowing him to treat you like garbage. That is a shame, the things that he said. Marion texted in, this dude is gone and will probably uh, use your weight as an excuse to why he cheated because mm-hmm. trust and believe he's cheating or else he wouldn't say it's hard to do it with you but you too sound like you're using anything as an excuse not to even try to lose weight and if you truly feel you say that you'll lose weight yourself when you're ready then you don't need excuses just don't and that's it sounds like everything you said just for you to feel better about your choice not to get on a diet not asking for advice or anything but that's just my opinion mm. Okay, Um, let's see. Melinda says, sis, it's time for you to sing him this song. I just can't stand men who didn't have the proper upbringing. Then she sent a meme, hit the road, Jack. Hit Hit the the road, road, Jack. Jack. And, and don't, don't you come back, back no, no more, no more, no more, no more. more. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like the other version. Hit the road, Jack. Kentucky Fried Chicken got more, got hey. more, got more, got more. <laughs> uh, Natika says, honey, not only does this man not respect you, he does not love you either. What is he doing? Called emotional abuse. Sounds like selfish, entitled child. You need to stay away from him, get therapy, and go live your life. Wayne says, leave that man. I don't know how people can be so cruel. Yeah, he's not the one. 
Again, dear Bill and Jess, almost seven months ago, I delivered my third child via C-section. Baby was born a preemie, had to stay in the uh, NICU. You know, been up and down from the hospital. Baby had to have surgery, et cetera, et cetera. Fast forward, my kid's father's been urging me to lose weight, which I myself want to do, but literally don't feel like killing myself right now. Uh, I am putting on weight, which I myself don't like, but with other added stressors like me and my kids battling COVID, uh, it definitely isn't, you know, the top of my list since having kids. I've been on the thicker side. You know, he, he pressured, and I'm just going to summarize, but yeah. it just basically says that, you know, he's pressuring me to lose weight and he makes comments. He made comments when I was in the hospital. You know, I don't know what to do. Guess what, girl? There's somebody out there that loves <laughs> that thickness, girl. <laughs> <laughs> right. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> 365 says mentally and physically he's no help. Ernie says, drop that loser sugar burn oh, in the house. You know, <laughs> you know sugar yes. burn will treat you right. You know it. Again, advice, 302-858-5117. Question of the day, let's go.